Hello. I have a MacBook Air. This is a 13 inch um, early 2014 MacBook Air. The storage is full and she says it's very slow. So I'm going to look into whether we can upgrade the SSD. I don't know if this model has enough room for one of those um, Mac to SSD adapters or the Mac interface to NVMe adapters. So I'm going to pop it open and have a look. So I've got my wee T5 pentalobe a bit. I haven't opened one of these before, this specific model. Here it's been dropped on this corner. I've seen these MacBooks take a lot of damage and still work. All right, is that gonna make it harder to, oh, no, okay. Bit dirty inside, but not the worst I've seen. The SSD that's in here is a Toshiba. It's the Macintosh style. It's got the slot right at the end. It doesn't have an adapter or anything. So there are crumbs in here. Interesting. Anyway, yes, this has room for the adapter. If I were to put an M2 drive in here on the adapter that I'm looking at, it will work. So I'm going to go ahead and order that adapter. And then I'm going to go through the process of restoring the drive to another drive so that I can safely make changes. OK, I've ordered the part. I've blown this out. Put the screws back in. Okay. I'm going to start with these two long screws. I'm always afraid of stripping these. They're so tiny, the screw head. So the next stage of this operation involves plugging in an external drive. So I'm going to plug in my a crucial 250 gigabyte SSD. I'm going to show you the recovery tools that I would use or that I'm going to use in order to essentially clone the contents of the hard drive onto the SSD here. And to do that, I'm going to hold command R to go into recovery tools. Right. Use English for the main language, yes please. And now I'll go into the disk utility. And earlier I, I put my hard drive in, or this SSD, I connected it and erased it. When I erased it, here I'll show you what I did. So I go to erase, this is the SMT. I chose Mac OS Extended Journaled, and I'm gonna give it a name, Crucial 250. That makes it easier to identify later when I'm moving things around. Okay, so the way Mac OS does things is, it's to me, it's counterintuitive because in order to copy this hard drive onto the Crucial SSD, I have to choose Restore. So in other words, I have to tell it I want to restore the Mac hard drive onto my Crucial SSD. So the source is going to be the Mac Macintosh hard drive and the destination is going to be the Crucial 250. And they confirm it here in clear language. Erase Crucial 250 and copy the contents of Macintosh HD to it. Yes, that's what I want to do. So let's go ahead and click Restore. Are you sure you want to erase the Crucial? I am. And now we just wait. Okay, so that finished. I'm going to shut down, or just restart really, onto the main disk. The customer has decided that they want to go with a one terabyte replacement. I'm going to use one of these adapters. This is the Macintosh interface, and it's got an NVMe M.2 interface on the other side. I'm just not sure whether to use this one, which is only the end, the M.2 drive plugs into that, and then that takes up the same space as the drive that's built in, 
or one of these, which is made by the same manufacturer, and obviously it's just got a support brace for the M.2 NVMe drive. I'm still not sure which one to use. Maybe I'll open up the, uh, the MacBook and see. So I want to put this blank drive in the MacBook. I've already cloned the drive from the MacBook to this SSD via the USB interface. So now I've on this SSD, I've updated Mac OS to Big Sur and basically been running off of this. So now I'm going to put the blank drive in, hopefully boot into the disk utilities and copy this partition onto the new blank NVMe drive. Hopefully that all goes as planned. Put my fence a lobe away. Switch to forks. I'm leaning toward this one. I don't know why. I feel like it might be thicker though. But there seems to be room. Okay. I mean that felt good. And it seems like it's fitting flat in there, so let's go for it. I mean, that feels like a perfect fit. So now they provided a longer screw. Phillips head. I mean, I don't like the look of that. It's, it's a little proud. It's the thickest part of the laptop. So... Let's see how the cover feels. I'm going to put the screws in and see how we get on. I'm going to hold Command R and boot into the recovery tools. Hopefully. We want disk utility. So this internal, this is the P1, one terabyte P1 crucial SSD that's in there. It is uninitialized, so we'll erase it. Okay, well, it turns out there are some changes to Mac OS Big Sur that make cloning much more difficult. They're trying to make things more secure by essentially hashing all of the system files and, and comparing those hashes during the cloning process. And for some reason, those system files changed on this hard drive. I'm not sure why. So I'm going to see if I can, I'm hoping that the external SSD is still good and that I'll at least be able to boot from that. And then I'm going to try super duper or carbon copy. I'll see if one of those tools can get this boot drive copied from the external SSD onto the new internal P1. So the disk utility wasn't sufficient to clone back from the, uh, from the crucial external drive to the internal M2 drive, the new one, because of something that they're doing in Big Sur now with regard to um, cryptographically signing the system folder. Um, the cloning process changes a file and Mac OS says that's been unsealed and it won't touch it. So I ended up installing Carbon Copy Cloner, which worked really well. Uh, Carbon Copy Cloner is fully aware of the changes in Big Sur and deals with them appropriately. So. I was able to, while running off of this external SSD over USB, I booted off of that, installed Carbon Copy Cloner, and then was able to clone this S SSD onto the internal one terabyte M.2 drive, and then shut down, take this out, and then boot off of that and remove Carbon Copy Cleaner. That was all free. Um, unfortunately, I didn't video any of that, but um, that was the process I followed. So now I'm just updating apps that don't like Big Sur. Uh, this had an old version of Microsoft Office, which is not compatible, and some Adobe things. But um, that's it. That, those are the steps. Thanks for watching.